Hey everybody, welcome back to Camp Jackson. We're in the kitchen. Today we got a Mexican shrimp cocktail for you. Uh, south of the border, if you will. There's another name for it. I can't pronounce it. I'll put it in the description. But in the meantime, y'all watch this video. And me, I'm going to make dessert. We got a good old southern pecan pie to make here. And remember, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I want to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time we put out a new video. Food on Wednesdays, truck on Fridays. So, y'all give this a watch. And me, well, I gotta get the pie crust made up. So, just like magic, we're gonna go... Okay, ingredients. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a big mixing bowl for it. I need you a fairly large bowl, there's quite a bit of it here. We have one pound of raw shrimp. And this is the medium shrimp, 41 to 60 count, somewhere in there, 41 to 60 pieces per pound. We have four cups of cold water. And for the shrimp stock as well, we have one bay leaf, three cloves of garlic, and some whole peppercorns. For the actual mix itself, we have about half of a red onion here. We have half of a cucumber. Everything has been diced up. We have half of a poblano pepper. We have a large handful of cilantro. We have one lime here that we're gonna cut in half and use the juice from that. We have some salt, and this is a coarse sea salt. We have about two cups of diced tomatoes. You can use your favorite tomato, whichever one that might be. Uh, these happen to be Roma tomatoes, which is what I had on hand at the time. And I think this was four Roma tomatoes. Uh, they have been seeded and cored and then diced up. We have a half a cup of your favorite ketchup. We have some red hot sauce. And this is the Frank's Red Hot. We also have two cups of Clamato juice, which is a tomato and clam juice mixture. You can buy it in your local stores pretty easily. Uh, this is the one that I have here. And this one, I do have the extra here because depending on how much liquid this has in it, we may need to add more than the two cups. So let's get started and we'll get the shrimp cooked. And easiest way I know of to get the shrimp cooked to the right temperature is we'll get our pot here. Slide some things around. So in, in your stock pot, you want four cups of cold water and you'll see a lot of ways of doing this there's a lot of people will bring the water to a boil first and cook the shrimp for two to three minutes I'll do it with cold water to start with one bay leaf three whole cloves of garlic and I'm just going to snap those in half if I can yep let some of the flavor out of them into the stock and uh, maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon of whole peppercorns and one pound of shrimp and these are raw you can buy your shrimp already cooked if you prefer uh, but then you will not have the shrimp stock here for this let's get this on the stove and we'll get it going We want to turn that up to high to medium high to high and as it comes up to temp it's going to be cooking the shrimp as soon as it starts to boil really good that's when they're done then we're going to turn take them off of the water and use a little spider as they call it to dip them out with and get them into an ice water bath to cool off so let's let those cook and as soon as they get close we'll get on to the rest of this Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the shrimp, we're just starting to get, to get the bubbles where it's starting to boil. And that's where we want to stop it at, right there. We already have our bowl of ice water ready. And I said what's called a spider. Still has a peppercorn stuck in it. 
all we want to do is we want to get these out and into that ice water bath to stop the cooking. All right, let's take these back over to the counter and we'll get everything put together. All right, our shrimp is in the ice water chilling off. We're going to pop the tails off of those and get those into the bowl and let's get all the rest of our ingredients. And then we have everything we need here for garnish. We have some larger shrimp, some lime wedges, some cilantro, and some avocado. So let's get everything into the bowl and get it all put together. Then we just want to chill it for at least a couple of hours before you serve it. All right, everything on the plate here, red onion, about half, half a cucumber, half a poblano pepper, and a good bunch of cilantro. Everything goes in. Almost two cups of diced tomatoes that have been cored and seeded. Two cups of Clamato juice. Remember we can add more juice if we feel we need to. Half a cup of ketchup. good dash of salt and we'll adjust that later as well after we taste it some red hot sauce and you put in however much you think you want depending on how spicy you like it start giving that a good mix Okay, next, remember the shrimp stock that we saved? Now we need some of that. And we want about a half a cup of the shrimp stock. That's what's going to add a tremendous amount of flavor to this. And I know I keep saying this, but cooking some of these meals, they're truly subjective. Uh, you adjust them to what you like. We like a lot of tomatoes. We like a lot of cilantro. You put in there what you feel you like. If you don't like it real spicy, you can use a jalapeno instead of the poblano. You can use serranos. It's entirely up to you. Shrimp. Let me pop the tails off of these and get those tossed in. Okay, we got them all in there. Let's give this another mix. And then we still have our lime juice to add to it. On limes and lemons, if you're not used to getting the juice out of them, it's a lot easier to take them and roll them in the palm of your hand right here and just roll them back and forth a few times. And we'll give that a cut. And squeeze through your fingers so if there's any seeds, uh, you'll catch them in your hand.
We want the juice of one whole lime in here. That's pretty good. I think a little splash more of the Clamato juice. And of course, you always have to taste it. get this in the refrigerator let it chill for at least a couple of hours before you serve it and after it's cooled off enough and chilled then we will uh i'll get it plated up and show you how i would add the garnish to it i'm gonna show you what that looks like when we're done remember like subscribe and hit that notification bell that way every wednesday when we put out a new cooking video you're one of the first ones that gets to see it